Hey everyone, it's Kelly from Sunny Tangerine Stock and today I want to show you how to use the new mock-ups that have been coming out in my shop. These card mock-ups are such a great way to showcase your work whether you make fonts, oil, recipes, paintings, photos, calendars, invitations. It's super easy. Okay, so I have this um, cute little design right here that I brought in and what I'm just going to do is place it basically over the area uh, where I want it to go. If it's not fitting all the way, um, you can just move, move it around with your cursor um, try and get it to the right size. If you had something, I'll show you in, a, in another example how to really skew it so that it um, shows the width, the, the narrowness at the top and the width at the bottom. But for right now with this example, I'm just going to go ahead and place it. And then I am going to come over here and all you have to do is set it to multiply and it instantly melts right into the design and looks as if it's been there forever and it's just part of the card that's there on the, on the clipboard. Um, it's so easy just making sure that you have it set to multiply and it's good to go. Now I will show you in a second uh, example if you really have something that you want to fit perfectly on this card, just move it into place here. Um, bring it down so that it is about the same size as the card on the mock-up. And if you really want it to fit perfectly, you can use your command key on a Mac and control key on a PC. And just move those corners out just a little bit at the bottom, move them in just a little bit at the top so that you have it pretty much set right where it is. Go ahead and enter that. And then again, just come up here to your, um, to your blending mode and hit multiply and you are good to go. It just makes it look magically like it was there all along. So let me just check real quick. Sometimes you'll get this overlapping on just on the bar or something. There might just be a little bit that shows up. For the most part, it's fine. You can easily just erase that with your eraser tool. I just kind of come in and um, make sure you're on the uh, layer that you want to erase. Just kind of move it down. On, oh, see. Oh. How about a racer tool? <laughs> and um, just easily make it go away. Now it's being slow. Uh, just move this over here. Take this away. If you want that um, top part to show up like it, you know, is peeking through from underneath, go ahead and leave it right there or you could get rid of all of it. Um, and then just, you know, everything else looks great. So you can have that just like that and you can crop it, place it in your um, feeds, put it you know in Instagram, showcase it however you need to. It looks totally great. Um, I'll see you over at Sunny Tangerine uh, stock or sunnytangerine.com or on Creative Market. If you have any questions just feel free to ask. I'm here for you. Bye-bye.